Hello everybody. It's a farm sim guy here. We are back on New Park Farm. We haven't been here for a few weeks. But I thought um, I would drop in, see what was happening on the No Debt Challenge. For those of you who have missed the early part of this series, um, instructions on what we do on this little challenge are down below. Um, just makes it a little bit more fun. Nine day seasons definitely uh, adds a little bit of a, a difference to the game and the way we play it. But we've been doing a few contracts over the last few days just to uh, build up the money in the bank. Uh, in addition to that, um, we have got a few logs left um, over in our logging little logging space. So um, we are going to probably go and finish that uh, tomorrow. Uh, the, s the sun's getting low in the sky now. It is relatively early in the spring. We'll probably go and have a look at some more of those tomorrow. There is nothing much to do on the farm. Um, it is planting season, um, and we did buy a new field, uh, field number 22, which we have ploughed. If I jump into my seasons menu just here, we have got a little bit more time. We've got another few days to go, so I haven't decided what I'm going to put in there yet. But it's probably likely to be wheat or barley, but we'll need to sort of plant her out for that, because we don't have our own drill anymore. We got rid of it to save some money. The other thing we'll do is look at a few contracts, There's some nice ploughing contracts at the moment, it's that kind of time of the year. So field 14 and field 2 have got some uh, quite nice chunky contracts on them. So 14, which is there, and field 2, which is up there. Now I don't like that one because the uh, windmill's in, I'm not sure how that would work with the, with course play. But certainly field 14 there, that looks like one we could do. In fact I might just uh, accept that now. And we'll send the tractor off to do that in the morning. But for now, it's uh, coming up to 6pm in the evening. I think we'll call it there for the night and we'll kick off things in the morning. Morning everyone, early start. Um, we're just going to get straight into field 14. We accepted this contract last night, so we're just going to dive straight in and get it done. It shouldn't take us too long at all with this, uh, with this 6 meter plough. So we'll crack on with this. Um, and while this is running, we'll uh, go and check out how much more we've got to do on the forestry. Okay, uh, he was doing nicely down there with the uh, plough, so we'll just leave him to it. And um, it's now our job to get the remnants of this finished, um, because this is going to be a huge success to have this finished. Um, it's been a, a bit of a Herculean effort, but it's been a thoroughly enjoyable task um, for somebody who'd never done any forestry before. Um, I feel a lot more confident with forestry machinery now uh, than I used to. I wouldn't call myself a pro. Uh, I'm not sure I ever will, but uh, it's been it's been really good fun working the machinery, uh, and the rewards for this have been phenomenal. So, um, if you're ever at a loose end on a farm or you're struggling to make a bit of cash, I tell you what, logging in FS19 is a real money maker, real money spinner. So uh, yes, the equipment costs a lot, um, but you can very, very quickly make that money back. Very quickly make that money back. So um, we will get this set up um, for one last round of trees. Hopefully we will get enough to um, get more than one load left. But we'll crack on, we'll stick this on a time lapse. Another time lapse. Um, and you can see how much we can make in the next few minutes.
So here we go. I think this is. I'm just. I'm just checking. This is the last tree. We have cleared this entire forest, and uh, we are now. Other than not being able to get to the last tree, ironically. Um, we are done. Okay, we've got our last tree. This is exciting. It has taken a long time to cut all this down. But the rewards have been phenomenal. Now, there is a lot of tree stumps in here that I will need to get rid of. Um, I'm not going to bore you with that now, because to be honest, uh, that isn't riveting viewing for you guys. But I am so pleased we haven't cleared this entire field. And anybody who's watched some of the earlier episodes will know how many trees are in here. It has been a... It's been a long and laborious task. But we've got there. We've got there in the end. So, I'm going to have some fun loading this up. And we'll go and see how much money we're going to make. So, um, we will see you again very shortly when we've got a load on the trailer. Just doing the straps up here, we have got uh, one load on already. Looking pretty good. I can't really tell how much is left. Probably not a full load, but a, but not far off it actually, by the time we gather all that up. So we'll run this down, and we'll see how much money we're going to get for it. I'm pretty confident there's a... Uh, probably another two-thirds of a load after this one as well and uh, we do need to grind out these stumps uh, which I can't do at the moment because the tractor's plowing on field 14 but as soon as he's finished I will run him up here ground out those remaining stumps um, I did toy with the idea of plowing up that field or mowing that field for grass um, to be honest there isn't that much on it and uh, the field itself is worth 44000 so I think if we sell that um, we will make some decent money. In fact, probably don't need to grind those stumps because I'm not going to plough it. I did have a few ideas, plough it under, put some crops in it, but actually the steepness of some of the, some of the banks on it, I don't think it's a worthwhile hill. I think it would be more hassle than it would just to sell it back. Now we've got the, now we've got the wood off it and uh, move on and use the money for something else. Okay, let's uh, get the straps off and let's unload this. Let's see how much money we're going to make. And look at that, right on cue. Um, the tractor's finished ploughing up in field 14. See how much we've made. That's the first trailer actually of all of these that we've managed to unload without any getting stuck. It's quite good. Okie dokie. 30 grand. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Right, back to the field with this guy and we will go and get the tractor. Right, let's drop down to the bottom of the field here. Kind of pick our way through all these stumps so we can line ourselves up nicely to help with the auto load. And we'll probably have to move ourselves around a little bit to pick bits up. Um, but that's not a bad start point. Let's see how many we pick up. Well, 
we have another load on. It's a bit more precarious than the last one. Uh, and unfortunately, it leaves us with <laughs> like about four or five logs left. But let's get us to the sawmill, and we are pretty much done here. Um, like I said, I think this is proof I will never be a professional lumberjack or logger. But I think we've done a pretty good job. And we've certainly made a good amount of money. It's also broken up the series as well, I think. With nine day seasons, we'd have done a lot of hanging around had we not had this to keep us occupied. So, um, from that perspective, definitely a worthwhile exercise. Um, but let's, uh, let's get this final load done. We'll go back and get those few other logs. Uh, I probably won't bother doing that on camera because, again, a bit boring for you guys. Um, but we will definitely sell this last load and you can see how much we, we make. A couple of rogue logs stuck on the end there, but here we go. Hopefully there's a bit more in this than there was in the last one. 31 grand. Very nice indeed. And there are some bits that have fallen into the hedge here, so we should probably rescue them, shouldn't we? Wood sold, forest cleared, 165,000 in the bank. We start the day at 100, so 65 grand just from clearing that field this morning. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. There we go, field 14, job done. Uh, we can collect the contract for that. That's another thing done there. So not only have we made that money from the from the logs this morning, we also made a nice little earner from this contract. Um, let's run back up to the farm now. Um, the other thing we need to do, actually, let me just jump into here. The other thing we need to do is sell this. 44,654. Yes, please. 214,000 in the bank. That's the most we've ever, ever had. Now, I'm not going to get too excited with it yet. Because we do need to just be a little bit cautious. Still, I don't want to blow all of this cash. But I do want to make sure we get that field planted before the end of the day. Um, so we'll run this back to the farm. We'll top up the sheep. We're actually going to sell our sheep as well. They have not been as lucrative as I thought they first might be when we started the game um, but they were a nice distraction for a while but I'm not going to keep them um, no desire to keep them they're not uh, they're not making enough money to justify uh, the outlay uh, so there's a lot of money tied up in them which we could uh, release as well which is going to give us a big chunk of cash now the target with this game was to make a million um, starting with no money and uh, no debts, so we've still got a long way to go, but um, we're certainly a lot closer than we were uh, a few episodes ago, without a shadow of a doubt. We did say we would uh, top up our sheep, they were low on water. So there we go. Fresh water, they're happy. Tractor's happy. Let's put the plough in the shed. And uh, we'll go and get a little seed to drill and pop some crops into our new field. So once we've got this field drilled, um, we are we are back into a bit of a, a, a loop of waiting uh, to see how quickly the crops grow. Um, I think we're well fertilised in our other two fields. We we'll probably need one more application before uh, harvest time. But it may give us the chance to jump into a few more contracts, get them worked up, um, possibly even buy a couple more fields, which obviously helps us when it comes to harvest time because we've got more more crops to uh, to harvest. But it, it might be prudent to uh, not buy them now, um, or certainly wait until uh, they are fully fertilised uh, and planted, and maybe we buy them just before harvest starts. Uh, so we're benefiting from a full crop in those fields. But let's just go and have a look at uh, a cedar now. 
see what we've got available. But it's, I mean, to be honest, probably is the Amazon or the or the Star. I mean, Star is forty thousand. Now it is a lot. The Amazon is is seed only. Star obviously does seed and uh, fertilizer as well. But to be honest, I think we can afford to buy ourselves um, this. It's got a three meter width. I think it'll do the job perfectly. So let's just go for that. This feels like a sensible buy. Right, let's head back to the farm and let's get that field sown. Here we are, back to the farm. There's the field on the left that we will be planting in. So let's just top up this drill very quickly. There we go. It's done. Close the lid. Oh, it's automatically closed. Very nice. Um, and we will set this off to drill. Well, I think we'll call it there for this episode. Um, he's moving very quickly through this field. Um, I think we've made some good progress this episode. I hope you've enjoyed a little trip back down to New Park Farm and the No Debt Challenge. I know I've not been here for a few weeks, uh, and a few of you did ask to make sure that uh, we didn't lose this this series, because I know um, it's got a very loyal following. So I hope you enjoyed being back here. Um, we've definitely made big progress, I think. Uh, it's fair to say um, we've we've got a comfortable buffer of money in the bank for the, I think the first time ever so uh, things are looking rosy for the farm and for the future of the no debt challenge but for now from me the farm sim guy thank you very very much as always for taking the time to watch my vids it really is much appreciated uh, don't forget the new discord server is live um, link in the description below so come and join um, a lovely bunch of people in the farm sim guy community and other than that, leaves nothing else but for me to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.